Hi, it's been a while, hasn't it? I think it might have been over a year, maybe? I haven't checked, but it definitely feels like that. Now, at the moment, I've been blogging and um, about a therapy I've been doing recently, which um, I'm under the care of the secondary mental health team. Now, that's more for people with complex mental illnesses. So I suppose BPD can be... Um, borderline personality disorder can be classed as sort of complex. That's certainly how I'm treated anyway. <laughs> um, the kind of therapy I'm doing is called emotion regulation therapy. And um, it's sort of a module in DBT. Now, I haven't done DBT, dialectical behaviour therapy. Um, because my local mental health team doesn't have the resources to offer it, unfortunately. The only thing, like long-term therapy, they can offer for BPD is something that has very strict criteria, like you'd have to be self-harming or very, very suicidal, quite doing it quite regularly. And I'm not at that stage, so I don't fit that criteria. But um, emotion regulation therapy is kind of a module of DBT. So my support worker is taking bits from DBT, learning them and teaching them to me. So hopefully this can help me regulate my emotions better and not have such strong mood swings. And, um, okay, the blog that I write in, I don't know if I've told you about it before, but it's www.amysmysteryillness.co.uk, I think. And I'll put a link in the description. Um, right, the um, emotion regulation therapy we're doing, a lot of it comes from a book that I've been reading that my support worker recommended to me. It's got quite a cheesy title, but I am finding it quite interesting, if nothing else. And a lot of things resonate with me um, in the content. And it's called Living Like You Mean It, and it's by Ronald J. Frederick. And this is it. And um, I'm sort of halfway through at the moment, and a lot of it is about emotional mindfulness. And I know mindfulness, that that's thrown around quite a lot. And I'd understand if you're rolling your eyes right now, because I know it doesn't work for everybody. Um, but it's something... I've tried mindfulness before, but I've not done it properly. I think I've been too focused on what my thoughts were rather than my feelings. And... Um, Because my head's been full of thoughts, I've not really focused in on what I'm feeling. And I know this sounds quite obvious, but your feelings you feel in your body, the thoughts you have are in your mind. So if you spend too much time in your head, you're not really focusing on what you're feeling in your body. And I think... Um, a lot of the time I'm not noticing what's going on in my body. And it's partly um, because, well, I've got chronic pain condition, chronic pain condition or fibromyalgia, and I've also got hypermobility syndrome, and they cause a lot of chronic pain. And I guess part of my way of coping with that um, is, as well as taking painkillers that help a bit, I suppose I distract myself a lot. I try and keep myself busy to try and get my mind off how I'm feeling in my body. And at the moment, I'm, I'm being told to focus more on how I'm feeling in my body. And now I'm noticing the pain more, which isn't helpful. But it's like um, I'm trying to balance and compromise my mental health and my physical health 
So when I try and help my mental health, I tend to compromise my physical health and vice versa. And I wish there was a way not to do that, but unfortunately that's how it is at the moment. Now the book um, itself, obviously it talks a lot about emotional mindfulness and it talks a lot about how we um, avoid the kind of feelings that we have. We might talk a lot about what we think about things, but we're not really talking about how we feel in our body. Um, and there's a few scenarios with fictional characters that the person that Ronald Frederick um, talks about in the book. And one of them was about a brother someone whose brother was um, very successful, um, goes to the gym, plays sports, has a successful job, has a great relationship with a partner and um, the person who's in therapy, he uh, feels quite inferior to this brother and um, he's not seen him in a while but after therapy he was arranging to see his brother and um, even though he told the therapist that he was fine with this, you know, for the most part, he's happy to see his brother. He was tensing up and he was tapping his foot while he was talking about his brother in a very sort of agitated way and sort of a nervous way as well. And the therapist was asking what was going on with him, like whether he really was feeling OK with this. And the... Um, guy, he, I think he started to cry. He was, he got more visibly upset about how he was feeling and what the truth was. And he was saying that actually, no, he's not really looking forward to seeing his brother because of feeling inferior to him. And apparently times that they've met before have been quite awkward and not natural you know it didn't feel natural just talking having a conversation um, and yeah he was trying to hide his emotions before and I think a lot of us do that I know I certainly do I have my mood swings where I have um, extreme moods and stuff like that but I also have days where I feel quite numb and if someone asks me how I'm feeling, I can't tell them because I just can't connect with what emotion I'm feeling. And I might think to myself, due to things that are going on, that I should be feeling a certain way. You know, if I'm having a good day, there's some good things going on, I should be feeling happy. If I've fallen out with a friend or something's happened to make me upset, I should be feeling upset. But it's like I'm... I say that I don't even feel human because it's a very human thing to have feelings and care about things and if I'm being numb it feels like I'm not being human, if that makes sense. Um, and this book is about noticing what kind of emotions you have and through being mindful of the feelings that you have in your body and learning to live with these emotions and go through the feeling all the way and it's supposed to peak and then trough and then you go back to sort of your baseline and I don't know how much I can believe that at the moment but it's something that I'm gonna try and I'm finding it difficult you know I feel like it's the right thing to do but because of the kind of extreme moods that I can have, I, I'm i quite scared of my feelings, I'm scared of what will happen, how I'll react um, if I feel something and it's overwhelming. And some feelings I tend to feel for ages, um, like what happened recently, I, um, well, sort of recently, I had so many thoughts in my head and I was upset about quite a few things that I wanted to just be unconscious and I actually took a couple of overdoses. Not bad enough for hospital but 
bad enough to mean that it knocked me out, basically. Um, and that was why I got in contact with secondary mental health services. I felt like I wasn't dealing with things properly and I had to get my parents to look after my medication for me because I was getting constant urges to overdose again. Um, I, um, so that's why I'm in secondary mental health services at the moment. I'm having less urges, but I'm still finding it hard to deal with the kind of thoughts and emotions that I have. And um, regulating emotions is something I really need to do, regulating them properly and not avoiding them by constantly distracting myself. And um, yeah. So this book is supposed to help you be aware of those feelings and regulate them properly. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. And if I have more thoughts about this book once I finish it, I'll probably do another vlog. Um, but so far, I'm quite interested in it. I have, I suppose I'm a bit hopeful, but I feel like it's a big risk to really feel those emotions and what I'll start with is doing the thing where you go through from bottom to top how are you feeling like are you tensing up are you scrunching up your toes or something um, are you feeling tingling are you feeling tightness in your chest just all sorts of bodily feelings and see whether that relates to certain emotions and then hopefully I'll understand what I'm feeling, what I'm really honestly feeling at the moment and I can then hopefully figure out why I'm feeling that way, what kind of things are going on or what kind of things I'm remembering that are making me feel this way and hopefully see if there's a solution. So this is where I'm at at the moment. Um, if anyone's read this book, I'd love to know, comment below um, what you thought of it, whether you thought it was total crap, if you thought it was really helpful, you know, anything really, or if there's any advice you could give me, or any questions you have about the book. I mean, I'm only halfway through it, but if I can answer anything, then I will. So um, this is sort of an update of where I am at the moment. So. Um, I will vlog again soon and um, I hope everyone's okay, thanks for watching if you still are, um, don't forget to like this video if you do like it and subscribe if you like my other videos as well. Okay, see you later.